very good morning. Don't we all agree that people who are sitting in this hall are very fortunate? Do we? Yes, we are. Because we have got very good education. And all of us are going to get very good jobs and our future would be very bright. But what about the people who actually built this institution? Like masons and the people, like drivers, who drive us back to our homes and watchmen who guard us and their children. Do they have enough opportunity to get very good quality education in their lives? No, they don't have. And many of their children will drop out from the schools even without completing their standard five. This is one of the India's greatest problem. There are 55% of children who drop out from the schools, even before the age of 12. That means more than 50% of the children don't study even standard 10. This is very dangerous, right? So what is the real problem? Why do they drop out? They drop out from the schools because they don't enjoy the learning. The children who go to these schools without any preparation and their family cannot provide them any social capital. And they don't enjoy the learning and whatever they learn in the standard one and standard two, many concepts they don't understand. And they lose the interest and they drop out. So what can we do at this position? We all know that 85% of the brain development takes place between 0 to 6 years of age. Can we address this problem at this, this age? Yes, we can address. There, there are so many research papers that say that if children are given very good preschool education, they are going to do very well, they are going to perform very well in the primary schools and in the secondary schools. This is the fact. And, and we, will, we can actually stop the dropout rate if we can provide children at this uh, point of time by providing very good preschool education. But the preschools in India and all over the world, they are very expensive. These children cannot go to these preschools. And there are more than 100 million children in India who don't go to the preschools. So what can we do at this point? Then I started Sudiksha Knowledge Solutions, a social enterprise, to address this problem. I started setting up the preschools for the children who are living in urban poverty. These preschools are very low-cost preschools that charge very less fees and still provide very good quality education. These are photographs of some of our schools. Can you guess how much do we spend to set up one school? Five lakhs? Two lakhs? it's less than 80,000 rupees. We spend less than 80,000 rupees to set up one school. And don't be surprised that we charge only 400 rupees per child per month. We spend 400 rupees on one pizza, and we spend 400 rupees to buy two coffees at Starbucks, right? So how are we doing this? Is it possible to do such a thing? Yes. There's a lot of potential in India. You go to any slum, any backward colony. There are so many women who are educated, and they are housewives, and they don't have any opportunity within their community to do the jobs. So we scout for them, and we identify them. If we train them on early childhood education, they can become very good teachers. 
And if we train them on entrepreneurship development, they can set up very good preschools in their community. And it is possible. Today, there are 22 schools in Hyderabad which are run by 50 women. All these women do not have any experience. And with very less education, they are able to provide very good quality education. They undergo a lot of training to give joyful learning to the children. It is possible. So what is difference? How, how they are differently learning in these schools? These children learn numbers through rhymes. These children learn language through stories. These children learn a lot of things in the school. There are a lot of joyful methods. And each school follows child-centric methods and activity-based methods. There are currently 2,000 children who are learning in the school. And they are experiencing the joy of learning. And we can ensure that these children will definitely go forward and they will never drop out from the schools. Education is the most important tool that can change the world. It has changed me and it will change a lot of people. Let's join the hands and change the world. Thank you.